Good morning. We're going to stitch the uh, freezing frosty napkin holder. So um, first thing you want to do is hoop cutaway stabilizer. This is a 5 by 7 design that fits the Dollar Tree napkin holders. Uh, so you want the first thing you want to do is stitch the placement stitch directly on the stabilizer and then we're going to cover it with our fabric. In this case, I'm using felt for the appliques. So um, I'm going to stitch the placement stitch. There is the placement stitch and now I'm going to cover this with my uh, felt and this is the uh, the base of the uh, napkin holder. Okay the next thing that's going to stitch out is your placement line for one of the trees. So I'll go ahead and run that. Okay, there's the placement line for the first tree. I'm going to grab my green felt and I'll be right back. Okay, I've got a piece of green felt and I'm going to cover the placement line. This is a bean stitch applique, so it's only two parts instead of three parts like you would with a satin stitch. So now I'm going to run the tack down. Okay, you can see the little zigzag around the, the tree. I'm going to take my applique scissors now and cut as close as I can to the stitches without cutting into the stitches. And then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've trimmed around the first tree 
and now the next step is going to be another tree right here so i'm going to do the exact same process put my hoop back on the machine run the placement stitch cover that with felt do the tack down stitch then i'll take it off the machine and uh cut around the uh, tree and i'll come back and show you what that looks like okay there is the second tree um and I've trimmed around it. So now the next step is going to be uh, the placement line for the snowman arms. And then I'm going to cover that with felt and stitch down the tack down and trim around it. And I'll come back and show you how it looks. Okay, here's the snowman arms. Um, the next step is, is actually the snowman body. And for the snowman body, I'm going to use white fleece because there's actually a section down here that's going to be snow and I'm going to use felt for that and I thought the fleece would be a nice textural difference. I like the way um, different textures and layers look in designs and so that's what I'm going to do. So it'll be the placement stitch. I'll cover with uh, my fleece, then the tack down stitch, then I'll uh, trim around the snowman and come back and show you. Okay, there's my snowman. And like I said, I used fleece because I liked the um, textural difference in uh, the difference between the felt and the, the fleece. It's, it's kind of fuzzier. But because I used fleece, I am going to have to use a little piece of water-soluble stabilizer on top of the snowman before I put the face on him just so the stitches don't sink in as much. So the next step is going to be the snowman hat. And um, it's the same as the other step. There's going to be a placement step. Then I'm going to cover the placement step and then stitch down the tack down and then uh, trim. And for the hat, I'm going to use a piece of very thin black vinyl because I, I just think that that'll look real sharp so um i will show you what it looks like when it's done okay there's the hat and i forgot to mention before that the that after you do the um place and stitch and cover with uh whatever fabric you're using uh right before it does the actual tack down it does this little line in the hat right here um just again just to kind of give it a little bit more of a textural look so um but it it's just one stitch i mean there's no jump stitch or anything like that it just it does the brim of the hat then it goes all the way around and tacks down and then um you remove the hoop from the machine and trim around it so the next step is the snow at the bottom of the snowman and for that i'm going to use white felt again just because it's a little different shade and a little different texture and um i think it'll be a nice contract Co contrast and i will come back when it's done okay there is the snow the next step is going to put the cheeks on the snowman so um like i said because i used fleece i'm going to use a little piece of water soluble stabilizer on top of uh just the snowman face. I'm going to pin it in place and then I'll stitch that and come back and show you. Okay, there are the cheeks and you can see I pinned the water soluble stabilizer down. You probably don't need to do that if you're using a single needle machine. Because I'm using a multi-needle machine, um, sometimes the corner comes up and gets kind of hung up underneath the needle and pulls it away and defeats the whole purpose of using it. So. I like to pin it just so it stays in place. The next step is uh, the carrot nose and I'm going to leave the water soluble stabilizer on until um, after I'm all done with the face and it stitches out the uh, the eyes and the mouth just because it'll be much easier to trim around everything while the stabilizer is still in place. So I'm going to go ahead and do the nose and then I'll come back and show you that. Okay, there's the nose done. Now the next de step is the heart and the stomach of the uh, snowman. 
So uh, that's also an applique, so I'll go ahead and stitch that. It, again, placement line, cover your placement line, then do your tack down stitch and trim. And I'll come back. Okay, there's the heart on the snowman. Now the next uh, step is the eyes and the mouth. And then um, after that stitches out, I'll remove the water soluble stabilizer and come back and show you. Okay, there's the snowman face completed. So, and I've removed the water soluble stabilizer, but it really did help because I used the fleece for the snowman. The, my stitches didn't sink in that way. So that's just a little tip. So, okay, the next two st steps are going to put the holly and the holly berries on the snowman's hat. So I'll stitch those and then come back and show you. Okay, there we go. That's the holly and the, the holly berries. So the next step is going to uh, stitch the border all the way around your napkin holder. And then before I attach the, the backing, I'm going to come back and run a piece of ribbon with a needle through the holder and around the other side so that I can tie it like a scarf. And um, I'll show you how I do that, but the fir first step is uh, the border, and then I'll come back. Okay, there is the border all the way around the napkin holder. Now, um, the next step is totally optional, but I'm going to do it so I can add a little scarf around the snowman's neck. Um, I've taken my awl, little sharp pointy thing, and I've made a hole right here and right here two holes on each side of the snowman's neck and now I've taken a tapestry needle which has kind of a, a wider eye and I've threaded a piece of ribbon through it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from front to back pull that through And then, so you can see the back of this, I'm going to poke it through the other side so that it's going to be flat on the back of the napkin holder. And then, again, I'm just going to pull it through. I used a little pair of pliers to pull it through because I don't have any hang strength. Okay, so you see that? I've got two ones now to make a scarf. So I'm just going to kind of fold these under, the ends under, and tape them with a piece of painter's tape. And I'll tie the, the knot in the scarf after I'm all done stitching. But um, anyways, now... The scarf is going to be flat against the back. There we go. And then I'll be able to tie the two ends when I'm all done. So now I'm going to put an, a, another piece of felt under my hoop, stitch the very final step, which will attach the backing to the front and then I will come back. Here I just wanted to show you before I attach the backing I took a piece of painter's tape and just um, kind of taped down the ends so that it wouldn't get caught underneath my needle. So I'll stitch the backing on and then come back and show you. Okay I have attached the backing and then I took the ends of the scarf and tied two overhand knots and then I just turned them up to the length I wanted them I am not going to, um, normally I would singe the edges, but I think I want them to be a little bit more of a frayed look, so I'm just going to leave them as is, and over time I think it'll, they'll fray themselves. So um, I did want to mention one more thing. I'm actually going to put a button, I'll uh, hot glue it, 
uh, in the center of the heart as well. That's totally optional. So I'll come back after I've, I've uh, cut this out and I will show you the holder when it's on the holder. Okay, here we go. The final product. So I used pinking shears and cut around the design and then I used the same pinking shears to uh, do the edges of the scarf and then I hot glued a button on the heart which obviously the scarf and the heart are completely optional I just think it really added a whole lot to it I think it's very cute I like three-dimensional things and then all you have to do is just slip it over your napkin holder like that and decide if you're gonna make a second one for the back or leave it as is but there you go hope you like it